Good evening. Tonight we're going to be making fried chicken. Uh, southern style it is very, very simple. Here we've got some chicken breast. Don't use legs or wings. I prefer to use breast. And in here is just some flour and salt and pepper. You can use garlic powder and onion powder. I personally prefer it without it. We're not going to deep fry them because sometimes if they don't come out so good we're just going to fry them in a normal pan on a medium heat and um, we'll show you how tasty and lovely they come out put uh, places like Popeyes and KFC to shame so just you dip there's egg wash there so it's just one egg beaten throw your piece of chicken into the flour I personally like to throw some over the top and get it nice and coated. I have seen people on here double coating. You know, I don't personally think that you need to do that. You don't need to double coat unless you want to because you should get a nice crispy coating anyway just by doing it like that. Just make sure you cover every part of it straight into the pan. There you go. Very simple. Take the next piece, put it in the egg wash. Let me just move this over here. Same thing again in the flour, give it a nice good covering. You know, don't believe that uh, 11 herbs and spices stuff that they tell you because it simply ain't true. And a lot of people call this southern style fried chicken, well, if it's any uh, consolation, I am from the south, but not the south in the United States, the south of England. So we're just going to drop that one in, same process again, just dip the egg in, dip it in the egg, throw it in the flour, make sure it's got a lovely covering on. It's like I said, it's just, I just use flour, salt and pepper, and I always use breast. Never really use legs and wings, although you can if you want it. You know, if you ain't got a lot of money and you can't afford it, a leg or a wing won't do you any harm. It tastes the same, it's just that there's no bones in this, so I prefer it like that. But it don't take very long to cook. By the time I've got this, these last pieces in, we should be set to start turning them over. Smell the chicken. Find your phone. So there you go, guys. It really is that simple. Get that last piece in. Just gonna wash the pan off my hands. As you can see, they're going nice. If you deep fry them, you know, sometimes I don't think they come out as well. So as you can see, there's the start of the coat on them. We're just going to turn these a few times 
and then we'll get them on the plate. They're sizzling away in the pan there. It's all pretty simple. But I promise you they do taste absolutely fantastic. And because it's all breast meat, the chicken's nice and tender. chicken breast for around about four pounds which is about six dollars so it's not a lot of money and a kilo would easily feed a family of four so if you're thinking about you know the cost of things is cheap if you really haven't got the money buy legs and wings they're even cheaper uh, even cheaper and look, you can see the crispy in there starting to take place. And you just cook these until they're lovely and golden brown and soft. And you won't get better bits of meat than that. You know, you just get yourself some barbecue sauce or some ketchup. They're lovely with fries and, uh, you know, coleslaw, stuff like that. Very, very good. And they will be lovely and juicy and tender, exactly how they should be. Just keep turning them. Now I know a lot of people turn their videos off at this point and then pause them and come back. We don't bother with all that editing, we just want to show you how it's done all the way. So if there's a mistake, you would see the mistake. Because we are only normal people, we're not professionals. to look like you know chicken pieces you would get out of a, a chicken shop you know if you want it hotter you can always add either hot sauce tabasco to your flour mix you know onion powder garlic powder that kind of stuff paprika I just personally like it just salt and pepper We just use normal, normal salt, normal cracked black pepper. It's all in there with the flour. And as you can see, the safe and shape really nice in there. So another couple of minutes and we should be done. Keep turning them. Get yourself a pair of tongs, they're about two pounds. So if you have to do with a spatula of splashing yourself with grease. You know, like I said, you can deep fry them, but the problem is, is if you deep fry them and you do your fries as well, in which case you're going to have, you know, bits of surplus skin hanging around in your, in your fat. I prefer to do them in a pan. Put my fries in there, make my own coleslaw, and you've got a, you know, a really nice dinner, which will cost you a fraction of the price it would cost you to go and buy it. And one of the chicken 
installed. But they all tell you about their secret blend of herbs and spices, and really, it ain't no secret. It's very, very simple to do. Anyone could make this, anyone. And I promise you, it comes out and it is absolutely fantastic. And you don't have to be accurate with the sizes because it doesn't really matter. You know, if you're, if you're using a kilo, you're going to get at least four times that amount. And there's some nice big bits of chicken there. And that's like twice the amount of meat you get off of any leg or any wing. I mean, when you bite into a, a wing, you're lucky if you get like half a centimetre of meat. Always use some paper towel on the plate, you know, keep it so that any excess grease goes onto the towel. That's the other reason I'm not a big fan of the old uh, deep frying, is they get absolutely drenched with that. There we go. chicken we're just going to put a little uh, towel under the top just to remove any excess grease because you don't want you don't want that it makes it taste nasty and we're just going to put them on the plate there Some barbecue sauce. And just so that you guys can see. Oh, they are still very, very hot, but as you can see, they're all cooked all the way through. said I'll be eating them in a minute. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and um, like the video. And uh, please watch some of our other videos. And that is the end of this video tonight. Thank you very much.